Let's make some banana bread. Yo, 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 welcome back to the channel everyone. I hope you're all doing amazing. This week we're going to be making some absolutely incredible banana bread. We're going to sneak in some dark chocolate in there. We're going to be using up all those overripe bananas. I have a hell of a lot of them because I go through a lot of bananas. So I just make banana bread pretty much every month with all my overripe bananas. Without further ado, let's get straight into this amazing recipe. All right, all right, all right. So you're gonna preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius while we make the banana bread batter. So into the bowl of a stand mixer or just a large bowl, you're gonna place 70 grams of caster sugar along with 240 grams of a soft dark brown sugar. Uh, 115 grams of unsalted softened butter and 115 grams of sunflower oil. You're going to place this onto the stand mixer with the paddle attachment or just mixing by hand and we're just going to beat this until we have a relatively nice pale looking mixture just like you'll see here in the video. Alright, so the secret to good banana bread is having bananas that look like this. These just look that one's all right. But some of these have been in the fruit bowl for like two weeks. And you see they're just like super, oh, super, super brown, super, super overripe. These are gonna be perfect, beautiful, sweet, easy to mash up. These are the kind of bananas you want in your banana bread. Anyway, let's mash these bad boys up. So we're gonna take five large overripe bananas, peel them and place them into a bowl. We're gonna mash them with a fork or a potato masher until they are nice and soft and look somewhat like you're seeing here, kind of like a puree. Into the puree, we're going to crack four large eggs. And then I personally just like to take a whisk once you've got those eggs and bananas together and just give that all a little whisk together so it's together and homogenous. You kind of got one mix before we add it to the butter and the sugar, which is the next step. So you should have something that looks, I'm not, I, I can't really tip this because the camera's uh, pointing upwards to have me in the frame and I don't want to pour this all over the floor. But you can imagine what banana and egg mixed together looks like. Boom, that's the banana and egg mixed together. That is what you're looking for. So we're going to take that banana and egg mix and add it into the butter, sugar and oil mix. We're then going to mix this on a medium speed until everything is fully incorporated. To this mix, we are going to add two tablespoons of vanilla extract. We're also going to add 380 grams of plain flour and we're going to follow that with three teaspoons of baking powder and about a teaspoon of fine sea salt. We're just going to mix this until everything is fully combined. Just make sure you mix this on a low speed. You don't want the flour to go poof and go everywhere. Once that's all combined and fully homogenous, we're going to chop up 200 grams of 70% dark chocolate into nice small pieces, leaving some nice big chunks, some small chunks. We're going to add that into our banana bread batter and just mix that through. Boom, this is our banana bread batter ready. So we're just going to grease and line a 10 inch cake pan or a 26 centimeter cake tin. You're also going to place in a grease food paper cartouche. I covered that in my last video. Um, and then we're just going to chuck in all of that beautiful banana bread batter. You're just going to pick up the tin very gently and tap it down on the side a few times. This is going to help disperse and even out the batter. Place that into your preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 45 to 60 minutes. What we're looking for, when you remove it, there should be no wobbling in the middle, no jiggling. It should feel firm and cooked. When you insert a knife into the center, you should well, you should get a little bit of melted chocolate on the knife, but no cake batter. And if you want to be ever so slightly more technical, you can just insert a thermometer slash probe into the center. And if it's reading 90 degrees Celsius plus, your banana bread is ready to go. So you're just going to let that cool for around about 10 to 15 minutes before trying to remove it from the tin. Let's just let it set up a bit. And then all that's left to do really is to portion that bad boy up. I mean... Just look at how beautiful and moist 
this banana bread is. Man, this is more just like banana cake. This recipe is absolutely killer. I developed it to be slightly more moist, that's why the oil's in there. Anywho, time for the taste test, baby. I couldn't leave this clip out. There's just something really satisfying about that noise of the banana bread being cut. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Just look at that bad boy. That looks, whoa, <laughs> nearly lost it. So damn good and it smells amazing. There's like a little pool of chocolate. I'm not sure if you can see that there. Little, whoa. Anyhow, let's eat this bad boy. That, that's why we've made it. Let's not beat around the bush. Oh yeah, it's not too sweet, super, super moist. You get the richness from the chocolate. There's a nice kind of caramelized crust on the outside. That is just everything you want banana bread to be. That is, a, that is incredible. Mmm. Oh man, more chocolate in there as well. Hot damn. That is an amazing recipe. I mean, I developed it to be moister, to be more kind of gooey and unctuous, more cake-like as opposed to bread-like. We have hit the nail on the head. Go give that a try if you've got any kind of old overripe bananas kicking around the house. I hope you guys have enjoyed this week's video. If you have, don't forget to drop it a like, subscribe to see future content and leave a comment for things you want me to make in the future down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.